time. Howdy and welcome to Wildwood. Looks like it's shaping up to be a regular day in Miss Harbor's class. Of course, a regular day in Miss Harbor's class is usually anything but. Okay, class, who can tell me what I am? A diver. A treasure hunter. No way. She's that guy with the submarine. Who was it? Captain Hemo and... <laughs> Close, but you're all off. Anyone else? An astronaut? <laughs> astronaut? Right! She's going to the moon right after lunch. That's right, Goose. I'm an astronaut in the 23rd century. I knew that. So why are you pretending to be an astronaut? Because not that long ago, being an astronaut was only something we could imagine. But now, in the 23rd century, they're real? Exactly, Ned. So what if they're real now? What's the point? Because, Marsha, it means that dreams can come true. Something might not be possible now, but it could be someday. Yeah, but not everything is possible. Don't be so sure, CJ. But what we can say is that God gave all you children gifts and talents to discover. And dreams we haven't dreamed yet? That's right, Goose. And what you do with those gifts will make wonderful things possible that can help everyone. And how do we do that? A big part of that is just using your imagination. You mean by just imagining stuff, we can make it happen? <laughs> Not quite, CJ. But that's how it starts. It's how people who wanted to be astronauts began. They used their imagination and with a lot of hard work, turned their dreams into a reality. Hey, how about licorice that doesn't stick to your teeth? I can imagine that. I bet you can, Goose. Big ideas often look impossible at first. And you know, for every great idea, there were lots of people who said it couldn't be done. Like the steam engine? Who didn't believe in the steam engine? I don't remember his name. Bob something. Didn't some guy called George Stevenson invent the steam engine? That's right. He was the first to design one that could actually pull a train. Whoa, he must have had some imagination. Indeed he did. Which leads us straight to your homework assignment. Aww. Aww which is due in a week. You each have to give a presentation to the class on what you want to be when you grow up. Does anyone already know? Ooh. CJ? I want to be an architect. Why an architect, CJ? I think buildings could be a lot bigger and stronger. There's lots of stuff we could be doing with them that we haven't even imagined. You are absolutely right. That's a wonderful answer, CJ. Anyone else? Goose. I want to be a painter. See? I spent all last week on it. I'm going to paint it for the project. <gasps> you did that? Wow. Very interesting, Goose. That's going to look just lovely. Anyone else? I'm going to be a scientist and figure out, uh, can you provide energy to an entire town using only a radish? No. That's all for today, class. I think Miss Harbor likes my sketch. Of course she does. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, Goose, could I see you, please? Uh, yes, Miss Harbor. Think she wants to see my picture again? Go find out already. I'll meet you at my place. Thanks, Miss Harbor. Now, Goose, I want to talk to you about your sketch. 
Oh, uh, it's still just a work in progress. Nothing special. Could I have a look at it again? Oh, sure. Hmm, interesting. It's a victorious soldier holding a flag, right? Yeah, I gave him a sword at first, but I changed it. What made you do that, Goose? Well, I don't know. The flag worked better, I guess. It's just a picture. Goose, it's not just a picture. If you want to be an artist, you should think about why you chose a flag instead of a sword. Every artist has a reason for what they put in their pictures. Did you? Sure I had a reason. I like the flag better. But you see, Goose, a flag instead of a sword changes what your picture says to someone. Pictures don't talk, Miss Harbert, do they? Unless they're cartoons. <laughs> Even a sketch like this speaks to people, Goose. Because what you put in it affects the way it makes people feel. It does? It does. And that is very, very important. But I don't know about all that stuff. I, I wasn't thinking about all that when I picked a flag over a sword. Maybe not. But I'd like you to think about it now for just a moment and... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Can I go now, Miss Harbor? I gotta catch up with Stacy. Well, all right. But please come see me if you have any... Questions. So why'd Miss Harbor want to see you? She gave me this book on architecture. Thought it would help with the project. <laughs> What's to know? A building's a building. As long as it stands up, who cares? What? I mean, what's so exciting about architecture? It seems kind of boring. Boring? Look at this room. Yeah? What about it? Imagine this room with bigger windows. Windows all the way to the ceiling. Imagine it flooded with light. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be a better thing to wake up to than a dark, gloomy room with, with this jelly sandwich stain from last week? I guess. And it's not jelly, it's blueberry syrup. Now imagine your room with the window in the ceiling. Imagine laying in your own bed and watching the stars while you go to sleep. Imagine if this floor was stone instead of wood, so it wouldn't creak and termites couldn't eat it. We beavers happen to like wood, thank you. Great, so imagine if this roof was vaulted and you'd see cedar logs instead of plaster. Can't we still throw the window in there? With the stars again? Of course. Awesome! Can we make the stars into a beaver? No. Aww. So what did Miss Harbor say? It was a total disaster. I've never been so embarrassed. Why was it a disaster? She said she liked it. Sure. Then when everyone else left, she told me it was lousy and I wasn't doing it right. That doesn't really sound like Miss Harbor. Trust me, I'm never showing her my stuff again. What do you mean? I mean, if she's going to be all mean and snooty about it, I just won't bring anything to class. Well, then what are you working on now? Can I see it? No! I don't want anyone to see. So can I see it when it's finished? No! Well... Maybe you, but nobody else in the whole world. Definitely not Miss Harbor. Okay, I think you're officially overreacting now. I am not overreacting. I'm just never letting anyone see my paintings again as long as I live. Whatever Miss Harbor told you, I'm sure she was just trying to give you some advice. Well, she's got a funny way of doing it. You've got talent, and you can't just hide it from the world. If you're going to be an artist, you have to take criticism sometimes. Maybe I don't want to be an artist anymore. Maybe I want to be a, a... a brontosaurus. That's a dinosaur. Dinosaurs had jobs. Very funny, Goose. But you'll still have to show the painting for the assignment. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to. Come on, you're such a good artist. Everyone will want to see it. No, I'm not going to be humiliated again. I've got something else planned. Really? What? Thank you for that progress report on your project, Marsha. Who'd like to go next? Oh, me, me! I'd like to announce that I will not be painting the soldier for my project. Oh, you've chosen a different painting? I've realized that painting is not my true calling. I'm reinventing myself as a singer-songwriter. A singer-songwriter? But, Goose, you love painting. Well, 
Maybe it wasn't the thing for me. I figured I never really knew what I was doing anyway. So, if I may, I'd like to play the class a little song I wrote myself. Well, certainly, Goose. What's it called? It's called True Friends Will Never Die or something. I, I forget. It's a work in progress, so there are a few kinks, but... Oh. <clears throat> oh, sometimes when I'm feeling real bad... Oh, no. And I feel like I've lost the lastest oh. friend I ever just stop singing. I sit on the porch with an ice cream sandwich and ask, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Thank you, Goose. I think that's... The important thing is you have to imagine an accordion solo here. I think that'll do. But I haven't even gotten to the big finish. I'll be backed by 44 Spanish trumpeters in white satin and... Lovely, but I think that's enough for now. I'm not entirely sure how wise it was to change projects with so little time to practice. <laughs> Where were you going to get 44 Spanish trumpeters? I don't know. I said it was a work in progress. What about the accordion section? Well, I'll play it myself. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, Ned. I do come from a very musical family, so... Goose is great at lots of stuff, but what was she thinking? She sounded like a gopher caught in a fan belt. She's going to look even sillier once I unveil my project. Prepare to be amazed. CJ's House of the Future. It's only half done, but you get the basic idea. Pretty nice, huh? It's, uh, a junkyard after hurricane? Very funny. It'll look better once I get the spires in the front yard. Why would there be spires in the front of the yard? Who cares? Spires are awesome. Haven't you always wanted spires in your yard? I always wanted petunias. Well, it's my project. And I say the front yard has spires. Just picture it. Huh. Who's going to live there? I don't think spires in the yard are really popular anymore, CJ. Or ever were. Who's the architect here? I'm just saying, when you're designing a house, someone's got to live in it, right? So? So, unless you're going to live in every house you make, you got to come up with designs that make sense to other people, too. Is an artist's work not sacred? Well, sort of, but, you know, somebody's got to live in those houses, right? You still got to design them to make sense and so other people like them. I guess you got a point there. You know, CJ, God didn't just design a bunch of stuff that didn't make any sense to anyone else but him. All right, I get it. So instead of Norman Spires, what if I used a Mesopotamian dome? No. A nice Greek arch. No! Mayan pyramids? <sighs> If you're just gonna throw random stuff everywhere, why not a Viking ship? And hey, let's just fill it full of tacos! People don't want Viking ships and tacos in their backyard. Huh, that's my point, CJ. They don't want spires, pyramids, or domes either. But they just look so neat. Yeah, but they make no sense. Like, why didn't God cover your feet and eyeballs? Because they work better in your head. <laughs> Exactly! Well, I don't care. I designed the house of the future, so it's gonna look the way I want it to. <laughs> Fine! Show that to Miss Harbor! You'll even make Goose look good! <laughs> I can't believe it! What's the matter? I just spent half an hour going through Mr. Crawford's catalogs. Let me guess. No Spanish trumpeters? Or accordions or books on how to play the harmonica? I looked through all the catalogs he had. How can you run a general store like that? Goose, maybe this project wasn't the best idea. Well, what am I supposed to do now? It's due tomorrow. I gotta finish something. Well, I bet if you hurried, you could paint one of your... No, I'm not doing that again. You think I want to be embarrassed in front of the whole class? And you think your singing won't be embarrassing? You know what I mean. I just think you'd be less embarrassed if you did a painting. You've been working on something there all week, but I've barely even seen you practicing your song. I have so. I've been writing like crazy. You have? Have you actually finished anything? Of course. It's all there. 
This just says a bunch of stuff about bunny slippers and bluebirds over and over. Then it turns into your math homework. And by the way, five times five isn't seven. It's a work in progress. It's due tomorrow. Just take one of your paintings and... No, that's it. Get out. I'm on a deadline and I don't want you distracting me. Come on, Goose. Be serious. Out! Out, 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 out! Get out! See you tomorrow. that I present the world's first perpetual motion machine. Behold. Uh, there's still a few snags, but I expect this machine to fully power an average home for hundreds of years, fueled by only... A single acorn. Thank you, Ned. Very elaborate. CJ, would you like to present next? My project is the house of the future. And I think it looks pretty neat. Now you sort of have to use your imagination here. There wasn't really room for windows or bathrooms and a couple other luxuries. Any questions? What's all that stuff in the front yard? Great columns. I think they're really neat. Why are they in the front yard? Aren't they supposed to hold up the roof? It looks neat. Haven't you always wanted columns in your front yard? I always wanted begonias. Really? I always wanted a watermelon tree. I don't think watermelons grow on trees. They'll grow on trees faster than they grow on columns. Hey, CJ, why do these stairs lead into a wall? It's not quite finished. There's a couple of design flaws. Uh, where are the doors? That's the other design flaw. Very innovative, CJ. Are you sure that's all you want to show? Well, I started another one last night, but I didn't have much time to work on it. Besides, it didn't come out very well. Really? Hey, how did you get that? Your mother dropped this by during lunch. She thought you'd forgotten your project. But I don't want to show that. It's boring. It's not much, but... It's beautiful. Look at those huge windows. Hey, a window in the ceiling. Look, everyone. This one's got doors. <gasps> wow. It's wonderful. It is? It is. Absolutely. It's so clean and bright and spacious. I wouldn't mind living in a house like this myself. You really thought this through. Well done, CJ. Very nice work. Well, it was a hard lesson, but somebody taught me there was a reason God didn't put eyeballs on my feet. Uh, I think I understand what you mean, CJ. You can sit down now. Goose, would you like to present next? Uh, oh. Um, Miss Harbor, the song's sort of not finished. Well, that's all right. You can just present what you have. <sighs> Goose, the song. It's not ready. Goose, if you don't present anything, I'll have to give you a zero on the project. I know. I'm sorry. I I'm... Ha ha ha! Goose, you silly girl. Miss Harbor, here's her real project. She forgot to bring it. No, I can't. How did you... Please don't be mad. I picked it up on my way to school. You what? You took it from my room? Is there a problem? Just a little mix-up. Here's Goose's real project. Whoa! That is beautiful. Ooh! <sighs> Pretty awful, huh? You did that? Goose, this is remarkable. Remarkable? Really? The use of color is beautiful. And that grass, I can practically feel the wind blowing through it. Yeah, I can feel the sun on my skin. You can? And that water's just beautiful, Goose. 
It looks so clean and cold. It feels like spring. But, but, but I thought... It's not spring. It's like early autumn. It's warm, but it's brisk and cool all at the same time. My favorite time of year. Now do you see what I mean by a picture speaking to people, Goose? I think so. You must have thought very carefully about what you put into this painting. Like picking a flag instead of a sword? Exactly. Well, I kind of waited until the sun was just right. I wanted to really pay attention to the way the wind blew the grass and, and what the light did to the water. I guess other people feel it too. Now that's the mark of a true painter. You've captured a moment and let us see it the way you did. I guess I did. I hope this project has helped you all to recognize the gifts, talent, and imagination God's given you. Above all, he gives them to us for us to use them. To make houses and paintings? To serve others, CJ. Like to build houses, but ones that everyone would like to live in? Or to paint pictures that help people feel happy. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm sorry, Miss Harbor. I didn't realize that you were just trying to help. Well, you listened in the end, Goose. This amazing picture of yours proves it. Does this mean you're gonna keep painting? Well, I'm sure not gonna keep singing. A <laughs> good choice. Woo! -hoo! Woo! Whoa!